Hey everybody, uh, just a quick preamble to this video. The plan is good, but obviously it has been tried, right? So, uh, the first day we may discover things about the plan that don't work. Um, so, it'll just require extra patience um, and kindness from everybody. Uh, but, uh, the plan is also subject to change. Uh, and uh, the following video is my understanding of the plan, which is probably not 100% correct. But, I do hope that it takes care of 80% of the cases. Um, and uh, here we go. The safety officer should be positioned right here with the lights on, directing the traffic. Drop off to the right, handicap, um, tags straight to the front to those uh, spots. Staff start filling up right here, and if needed, then later fill in right here. When entering, staff will initially go to the left. And since we are not staff, no staff tag, we can't go to the left. Okay, back at the entrance. Those with handicap placards will go straight through. Straight to those handicap spots right over there. We don't have a handicap placard, so we're gonna, not gonna go there. Back at the entrance, everybody who is dropping off goes to the right. At this point, you decide if you are staying in the drop-off line or if you would want if you want to walk your kids to the front door. And if you do, you pull into this row and you park on the right or the left. So you want to park and walk the kids to the entry, but there's no empty spots available. What do you do? I believe the design is to go straight through. Obviously pause if you see a car pulling out and take that spot, but if not, you simply loop around. It does sound complicated and not like the most user-friendly thing, uh, and it's especially going to be bad on Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, but keep looping until there's an empty spot available. This row, where parents will park to walk their kids to the entrance area, is probably going to be the most complicated and the busiest area of the parking lot. As you're coming down, you went right at the entrance, and you come to this point. If you are dropping off and staying in the car, you follow that flow. If you are walking to the front doors, you try to park in this row. There should be volunteers right over here, as parents pull in and fill these spots up. What's interesting is these the other side of this row and the other side of that row, I believe they will be kept empty so that people can get out of their cars, for example, in this spot, and can walk over right here and go straight to the crosswalk without any cars in their way. Same idea here. All of the cars will be in the inside lane. The outside lane will be reserved so that people can get out of their cars and walk straight towards the big crosswalk over there and get to the front entrance. If you are dropping off middle schoolers, do not go exploring over there. Simply pull over right here and have them hop out of the car while other people snake past you airport style. Then, as soon as you're done, you just rejoin the flow of cars. The line of cars coming down this way will be asked to stop right here to allow the crosswalk walkers to pass and to also make sure that the handicap spots are not blocked and several cars at a time will probably be uh, let through while the flow of people is held by the crossing guard who should be stationed here. If, and only if, we end up with a large traffic jam, instead of proceeding straight past the handicapped spots and taking a right to go do the drop-off, people may be asked to turn right here and take a left right over there, then go down to that corner and then proceed to the drop-off spots, simply for the sake of creating more space for the snake to be a little bit bigger and to be able to fit more cars in. Alright, a quick review. Left or straight is really whack if you don't have a tag. No empty spot is found. You loop and loop and loop around. Over here and uh, over there. Push them out the door like you just don't care. It's been eight weeks, people. Center lane could get insane. Slow down, pay attention, and refrain from shouting obscenities. You've dropped off your kids. Well done. You're through. This golden star is just for you. If you are in your car and you have found yourself in the middle of our tilted soccer field or anywhere around here, really, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. 
or you're having a nightmare, first day of school jitters, so just maybe pinch yourself if you found yourself on top of the Nile sign. You probably mixed up the gas and the brake, and your SUV is probably a little too big.